Okay, I'm quickly go through uh, how to install um, Unity Oculus integration uh, and then a basic um, tutorials for Oculus headset um, with Oculus headset examples. So I just go back to uh, Unity Hub. So you can search Unity Hub. Uh, and then this one is, uh, the assumption is that I guess that you know uh, how to install the latest version of Unity, which is at this time, uh, 2021 March version with Android. Uh, to start a project, I, uh, I recommend for you to start with um, new project with 3D core template. Yeah, of course there's a VR core template, but I here I just start with 3D core to start with a really basic. Um, so I want you to learn uh, how to install Oculus from a scratch. So I change folder for now. So I change to my folder in AR VR class. And I select folder and project name. I first start with today's date. And then uh, Oculus demo. Well, I will explain a little minor problem using a file name start with a number. Okay, so I, I basically start with a Unity for now. And uh, from time, to time, uh, sometimes uh, the downloading and importing may take time. So I recommend for you to skip through it. So this is really the basic screen, nothing inside of it. So to install Oculus asset, just go to Windows and go to Asset Store. And then I would search Oculus integration then you will see uh, this icon here and click this. And just click this blue button. This one says open in Unity. And this one said, do you want to open Unity editor? And yes. So now this one will open package manager. Uh, this package manager is simply managing packages. Uh, not yet any Oculus uh, assets are imported yet. It says it is refreshing packages. Okay, so it is ready. So select Oculus integration. Uh, for now, you can actually install almost everything. Um, just for now, I just import click input and then it start to download something. So just set the Oculus integration. Okay, so now we have it. So you can import everything just for now to save some time. I would uh, deselect everything. And then I select only what I need. Uh, which um, I need OVR camera. And controller, that's it. So I just search uh, Oculus, Assins, Scripts, Audio, Utilities, Avatar, Plugin, Samples, Script. Oh, I need OVR camera, but not here. Uh, runtime materials prefab. I need some pre. I may need prefab interaction transform, control graph, and pose resource shade. This is quite a lot. So instead, I just simply uh, select script audio. I don't need it. Utilities, Dream Inspector, I don't need it, Avatar, Local Avatar, Android. Okay, I just kind of, uh, 
uh, input everything. So it is done. So I would say I just click Oculus Utilities has detected that a newer plugin is available. So I just say update and then open XR. So depend on following features and I would not. So I just can use or use open XR and then activate it and okay. And so I will just restart and I also upgrade it. And then the start. And as you see here, I don't need a package manager from now on. As you see here, I have all the Oculus library is here. And then one of the first uh, one is actually camera. So I just type, uh, it's, it's known as OBR camera. So in that set, there's an OBR camera rig, as you see here, I just drag it here. And then as you see here, I just want to check um, from top view, as you see that uh, the camera is directed to north, which is G direction. So to check that, I will simply add one simple uh, cube to represent a plane. So for now, a cube is located here. I would change its size as uh, X is five meter and Z is 10, mil 10 meter. And Y, I just say it's minus 0 0.1 because I want to go lower. And then for X, I would just zero, zero, and zero. So now it is located at the center. And if you see game view, uh, the, you cannot really see anything because it, in the scene, if you select OVR camera, if you see from the X, actually the camera and the plane is actually overlap. So I actually leave it move off. And as you see that I set this one as 1.5 meter on your eye level. And if you see game, it's a scene. Uh, so now you see that this one is looking like this. Uh, I would make this one cube a little bit longer. So I would change it to, to 20. So in the view now, actually you, now you can see uh, this floor here on the eye level. And to, uh, uh, to upload this app to Oculus, you need to set up this build settings. So here, uh, currently it is now on PC format. I want to change to Android. 
And then uh, just we need to switch platform from PC to Android, and this will take some time.
Okay, so uh, platform has been changed. And something you need to change is currently texture compression is set as don't override. I changed to ASTS. Um, it's just uh, what Oculus need. And then I, once you uh, connect on headset, you will see this Oculus Quest names on it. So change that too and go to player setting. And in the player, um, uh, you need to change this color space from gamma to linear. It's just that's what uh, it is necessary. And it's gonna take a while. So it is set to linear. And then let's just kind of check a little bit. And then here, uh, package name is actually following my project name. Actually, it is just uh, this pro uh, this one's issue. So I changed over. But if you if you just use uh, project name with uh, without numbers, you will be fine. But uh, actually, uh, uh, Unit does not like to use a number at the beginning of project name. So I delete the name. So this is all set. And then uh, here, you can actually go to install XR plugin management. Uh, so this one is just simply new uh, feature. So you can actually click this one and then it'll start to download. And I will just select Oculus.
Okay, so uh, Excel problem is done. So project setting is ready. And then we can upload by uh, clicking build and run. And then it will create an APK file, which is basically the file that it is transferred to Oculus and it will be run in the header set. I just kind of set it as test, and then save. Then it will uh, uh, build an APK file inside your computer. And then the completed file will be transferred to your Oculus headset. Okay, so everything is okay. If you check here at the console, every, there's some uh, mark here, but there's no red one, meaning that everything is okay and build completed uh, with the result of succeeded. Okay, so this one is ready. So next time, we don't really need to change anything here. So from now on, all you have to do is just simply build and run and this one or control plus B. Okay, so now, uh, we just add, uh, and then let's add some uh, object. So this cube is actually work as a floor. So I changed this name as floor. Uh, I delete the cube name. And then here, let's add a table. So I just kind of uh, add some a cube uh, on zero, zero location and scale is one, one, one. Uh, and then this one is kind of half hidden. So I raise up the position like 0 0.5. So it, it's on the central. Uh, and then I don't need this main camera, so I delete it. And this object is directly under a uh, camera, so it would not be seen. So I just select OVR camera. I move a little bit back. Uh, by doing so in a game scene, you can see it uh, directly. So this cube, I just call it as a table. And then I would add, so as a, as a test, I just add one uh, sphere. So I want to actually hold it with Oculus uh, hands controller. And sphere, I also change the position as 0, 0, 0. And then scale is 0 0.3, 0 0.3, and 0 0.3. And we need to a little bit move up into Y direction. So if I do one, it's just half of it. So 0.25, so it's a little bit up. So I can change it to 1.2. So it'll be uh, slightly over the table. Okay. So, and then we need to set some uh, rigid body here. So click sphere, I add component. 
that you can set it reset body here. And then make sure that this one is not static. And then here I change it to constant or continuous dynamic. And also this one also I want to add reset body and probably, and then floor actually I don't want to add it because once you add reset body, it will fall down too. So this one is roughly about a physical setting. Uh, now I will add a hand controller. So to add a controller, uh, you need to go to here and then under tracking spaces, you see left hand of anchor and right hand anchor. So to add some default um, hand controller in the asset, uh, I will just search uh, controller. Control. Then in asset, you probably you see several uh, controller here. And then we rather check OVR uh, control. Then actually you see uh, here OVR controller prefab. Uh, but instead of that, what I'm looking for is um, what is this? This is all broken to helper. So what I'm looking for, let's just refine again. Uh, what I'm looking for is actually um, consumer uh, costume, uh, custom hand. And if I uh, cost, I say hand control, custom, uh, what I look for is custom hand. Let's say custom. So we can see here is, so what this is what I'm looking for. This one is custom hand left, and this one is custom hand right. So you need to drag this one custom hand right to the left hand anchor. And then little children of prefab instance cannot be deleted move. So, okay, so here I just try, oh, so move it. So here I just try custom hand left, on um, left hand anchor. So it goes under the left hand and custom hand right goes to right hand anchor. So now it is ready. So if you click custom hand right, currently parent transform is none and player is none. So for the parent transform, you need to drag this right hand anchor to this. And for player, you need to drag this OVR camera rig to this. So I will do the same thing for the left hand. So left hand anchor goes to parent transform and then OVR camera rig to player. So now uh, your hand is ready. So now actually uh, these two hand is actually from now on it's uh, grabbable. Uh, so after doing this, you can actually just simply build and run. Uh, probably if your previous app is running, I recommend for you to quit the previous one. Otherwise, uh, you may have some error. So if you have any error, just simply close it and uh, re-update it. Okay. Uh, something I would explain uh, a little bit additional stuff. After finishing this one. So everything is done. So just kind of something extra thing is well, if you go to build setting, uh, ASTC uh, uh, simply means uh, asymmetrical uh, adaptive scalable texture compression. So this is a, a way of uh, compressing it. And LG4 is a loss of zero um, compression algorithm. So pretty much that's it. So all this, and then also Samplify is also uploaded to the Google class folder. So you can actually download it and you can just add your 3D model or generative code inside and then you can simply use it. Okay, that's it for, this is kind of a quick and rough overview of today's class.